Hi, I'm Alex. Welcome to Cute Puzzle Fun. This is a YouTube channel where we talk about solving these fun cube puzzles in uh, plain English so that it is as easy as possible for as many people as possible to understand. Uh, I am a musician who has recently developed a hobby for doing these cube puzzles and uh, yeah, I've sort of broken down how to solve the 3 by 3 cube into five steps and today I'm going to go over the first step in detail. Now even though this is intended to be a very very comprehensive video there may be people who still would like me to slow it down even further if you feel yourself getting confused by uh, what is an edge piece and what is a corner piece and what are the differences. Uh, I have a comprehensive video that is a Rubik's Cube primer that will tell you all about what's what and get us all on the same page so we can all have the same starting point and also so that I won't have to include that information in every single video I can just uh, refer to it in future steps. Well, today's story is uh, step one of solving a Rubik's Cube and basically with that step one what you're going to um, find when you are finished with step one is you will have uh, any center that you pick you can pick any color to begin with a lot of videos um, start with white I don't know why that's a requirement but you can start with any color you like and what you're going to want to have is the center will have these four edge pieces going around the center will all be the same color as the center and uh, not only will not only will that happen like you can bring this red uh, up and uh, place it next to the center and uh, swing this red up and place it next to the center uh, not only will you have these uh, edges next to the center but they will not be like this where you have a white a red and white edge over a green center they will be like this where you have a red and blue edge over a blue center so you will have uh, red 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 but you will also have uh, blue here white here and green here so let me re-scramble us up again and uh, we will start to dissect how you can get that to happen getting these uh, red edges up here and getting them over the correct center. While we're getting the red edges over the um, next to the red centers, uh, I want you to pay close attention to the fact that we are completely ignoring the corners. Even though this red corner is here, um, you don't want to concern yourself with keeping it there. We are only concerned with the edges. Uh, it is easy to place the edges and then worry about the corners. And that's what I advise. Uh, the cube puzzle fun five step method will, uh, will definitely uh, hook you up with how to get this solved. Um, and I'm just telling you, don't even worry about the corners. We're just gonna worry about these four edges. All right, let's uh, quickly go over what are the different situations you can find while trying to find the red edges and get them up to the top. Uh, the easiest thing could be you could find that it's uh, already at the top. That can certainly happen. You might find that it's at the top, but it's uh, flipped the wrong way. Like if this orange was red, for example, uh, you would have a red up to the top where you need it, but it's pointing out instead of pointing up. Uh, there's a way to fix that. The other thing you may find is this situation here where we have these reds, uh, this is the top, and these reds are in the middle. They're along this middle row. Um, that is pretty easy to uh, get them from the middle uh, up to the top. You just figure out which center you have to swing them along to get them up to the top. And uh, here we have both of them to the top that's just that easy for example this is a red that was along the bottom uh, so here's red up top and you have to flip the cube over completely and on the orange side which orange is opposite red uh, there are two reds hanging out down here on the bottom 
uh, and they can both be just flipped up to the top. And then uh, white is on one side. One of the edges is red and white. Blue is on the other side. One of the edges is red and blue. Uh, if these were opposite colors, the white and the blue, like for example, if this was white and this was yellow, or if this blue had on the opposite a green, then you would be able to fix them both so that they're uh, over their proper centers uh, at the same time. But that is not the case because one is white and one is blue and those are not the, on the opposite sides of the cube. So you can fix one or the other but not both. So uh, And you fix them by just sliding it around until they go over their proper center. So this is the red-white edge and it is over the white center just like we want it to be. But that makes it so that this red-blue edge is not over the correct one and if we uh, fix that to put this red blue one over its proper edge uh, on the opposite side of blue will be green and now we have a red white over top of a green that's not what we want we want uh, the red white to be back over here over the red white but we don't want to upset this uh, red blue edge that we've placed over top of the blue center so uh, the quickest way to deal with that is just to take this uh, red white down and move it and then bring it back up to the top so uh, how we can bring it down is just to uh, rotate it around its green center until it gets back down to the underside of the cube on the bottom and there it is next to that orange center on the very bottom there and then we can rotate the bottom around and we can rotate that around endlessly but we want to rotate it around until it goes under the white center and then rotate it, it doesn't matter counterclockwise or clockwise or either way you just rotate it from the bottom back up to the top and you will find that now we have the red edge up top and the other side of the edge the white is over the white center now we are working with this rubik's cube and we are calling this uh, red side the top and if you think of this as the top row not just the top side but the top side and the top ring around the top side and then if you think of this as being a middle ring uh, all the way around there and then you can think of this as being a bottom ring uh, the bottom ring is very important because uh, one of the easiest places to slide uh, pieces up to your top is from the bottom ring around here we're gonna see a lot more about that on step two because it's easy to take these reds from the corner if you take them from the bottom ring um, and then bring them up to the top but that's also true of edge pieces if you can get a red uh, like say this is orange but if it was red uh, you can move it over to a protected place and then just slide your whole middle row down and then get that piece back and bring it up to the top so if that had been a red and white for example uh, we could have put it right where it goes over its white center but we do have red uh red white we just need to i'm just i've been mucking around with things and i need to undo what i did there we go we still have our red white over our white center and our red blue over our blue center over here i see we have a red green and uh, the easiest way to get that red green up to the top since it is in the middle row would just be to swing it up to the top but that does not place it in the right place because that red green is over a uh, yellow center so we can do what I suggested before uh, and swivel this uh, red green from the very top of the cube all the way down to the very bottom of the cube and then we can 
swivel this red green that's down here on the bottom uh, around until it is under the green center and then just swivel it right on back up to the top and now we have red green over the green center red white over the white center and red blue over the blue center and we are one center away uh, we need a red yellow to be right here with the red pointing this way and the yellow pointing this way and then we will have step one finished here is our uh, red yellow and we need to get it from over here to over here the quickest way to get it from over here to over here would be if you could just swing it up and spin it around over the yellow center but no 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 that is very destructive to what we have achieved before it is over the yellow center but now we've uh, displaced everything all over the place so let's undo that let's uh, undo what we did and find a non-destructive way to get this yellow and red over to here the easiest way I can think of is to swing this red down to the bottom and remember what I said about uh, not being concerned about a corner if you have a red corner up top we do have a red corner up top and not only do we have a red corner up top but it's like the correct red corner that goes in there but just I mean you had to let it go um, so we're going to take this red yellow down to the bottom of the cube and uh, this uh, red corner is going bye bye and we are going to swing this uh, red yellow around until we get it under the yellow center and then we also do not want to forget that we took this red white that we had in the right place and we had to swing it down in order to get uh, that red yellow down to the bottom so we need to undo that we need to remember uh, not to proceed before we go and correct that and bring that red white back up to the top so that the uh, red white edge is in the correct place where we had it and uh, oh that's and coincidentally it did bring a red corner back up to the top but again that really doesn't matter at all and especially now that we've uh, brought in the red wrong uh, red corner uh, we had the right red corner in there before but now I mean just you just ignore the corners really you do uh, we have red yellow edge which is under the yellow center it's at the bottom of the cube next to the orange center there and uh, all we need to do is swing that around the yellow center to get it back up to the top and we will have step one completely complete where there is what's called the red cross and we have uh, four red edges right next to our red center and we have the white red white edge over the white center the red green edge over the green center and the red yellow edge over the yellow center and the red blue edge over the blue center and that is what we want to have completely complete uh, before we step away from step one uh, and that is how to solve the initial cross uh, there were more things that I'd like to say about step one but due to time constraints they didn't really fit all into one video so if you would like to see even more about solving step one including an alternate method that some people find easier and just some other uh, information on how these pieces edge pieces move and how you can get them up to the top uh, there is a little bit more available so why don't I just uh, throw them right here on the end screen and you can uh, click on one of those and uh, peace. My rap name is Alex. This is Cube Puzzle Fun. Uh, thank you for joining us and uh, see you soon.